for the both of you, no, uh, William and Paolo, when you were being tapped to be consultants uh, for this Riverbanks Rehabilitation Project, um, how did you envision this uh, project really helping out and the people benefiting? Because you were talking about di ba, people looping around, even talking about the bridges, na mas mababa pa nga yung cost nun. So just helping the pedestrians and the cyclists um, in this whole project. Yep. Well, there's like basically five considerations. You know. uh, first would be transportation. As you mentioned, uh, nautical, highway, uh, pedestrian, mm -hmm. cyclists. Mm -hmm. Um, you have added tourism. Yeah. You improve the quality of life of everyone living by the river. Yeah. Um, you you encourage growth and development on both sides. On, on both yeah. sides, and of course now you have an opportunity that to create awareness about the river and clean up the environment mm -hmm. of the you know the river itself. So. And actually, housing, we must mention. Yes, yes. Housing, yeah. Let's go to the housing in a bit. But actually, I wanted to ask you because at first I thought that uh, of course this project was launched last week by the president and the first lady, and it's uh, I think she's kind of like the manager of this project. Um, I thought it was just the beautification of the riverbanks no, no, no. and to fix it because it's hard to clean the water yes. because it attaches to the Manila Bay on one side and Laguna de Bay on the other side. But apparently, I'm wrong. So uh, how do we, and that they are going to clean the water as well, yes. how does that go and well, what's the technicality behind uh, it? Yeah. Well, as the President said, it's, it should not just be a cosmetic. Yes. Yeah. And, so. the, and the cleaning of the river has been going on in the mm -hmm. last few decades under the PRRC. Mm -hmm which was shut down by the previous president. Right. That's why uh, I was wondering what's going to happen. No, it, the, the job of uh, keeping it clear, clean is now uh, passed on to DNR okay. uh, and the LLDA, the Laguna, Laguna Lake, Lake Development, Development Authority. Authority. So, and then the local uh, individual LGUs also have responsibilities in any case. Yeah. So the, the, opp the opportunity is here with, with this uh, Pasig River Rehab. Uh, to get everyone aligned to one goal is to, to, to bring back the Pasig and bring life on both sides of the banks uh, and uplift it to the standards with, that we, we deserve. Mawa wala na yung amoy. Wala na yung amoy. Actually, it's not been it's bad. Not, it's, it's not been bad. We've been there for the last four yeah, months. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not. So, so we're okay. alive. It's a misconception. Yeah. Okay. It's a misconception. Yeah, it's a misconception. It has improved already. Now, this is not a misconception. This is a reality. Some areas of the riverbank have no easement. Mm -hmm. Some areas have informal settlers. Now, I've read in the papers that uh, the NHA has been tasked to resettle some 10,000, uh, no, to build 10,000 homes for informal settlers. A bit more than that. A bit more than that, okay. Um, but the lack of the easement, how do you work around it as um, architects and urban planners? Like, where would you pass? Well, the, the uh, solution came from Secretary Gosar because mm -hmm. he's, he's a con contractor. A contract, as well, a, yes. a, 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 uh, he builds things. Yeah. And so the, the solution is to uh, build over the water, which has precedence in other cities and other esplanades mm -hmm. all over the world, Chicago, even in Malaysia, mm -hmm. in San Francisco. So long as you're not reclaiming or filling in, uh, the, the, the piers on which the extension stand has minimal impact on the flow of the river. So we can extend. So in those areas where we have problems, there actually are various segments of the 25 kilometers already with easements and already with yeah. some esplanades. Mm -hmm. So the task is to connect these missing links. That would be so exciting. Imagine you could actually technically walk. I mean, it's really long. And but bike. You could scooter no, and bike. No, it's not that yeah. far. It's actually like from Manila to Makati, you can right. do it in like 10, 20 minutes by bike. By bike, yeah. Mm -hmm. So imagine living, you're living in Tondo. You can bike to work in Makati if, yeah. or if you're a construction worker to somewhere in Pasig from anywhere In a else. real bike lane. Yes, in, in a, a real, real, in a real well, unobstructed yeah. as, bike lane. As you've seen in the pictures, we made sure that it's a minimum of six meters, but in other areas, it's six plus three. In other areas, it's, uh, it's wider. And this, these are the uh, east, easement widths that we were able to put in the Iloilo Esplanade. So there's, it's been done. It can be done. 